her because from an evolutionary perspective, one of two things is going to happen. We will either go extinct, and even if we go extinct, whether it be, it could be nuclear or environmental, and the scientists say, you know, the planet will survive, it'll just kick off human beings for about 250 to 400,000 years. Mm -hmm. Okay, some people, I've heard people, I've rarely heard it from people who have children, <laughs> Hello. Mm -hmm. say, well, maybe that's the best thing, that, you know, maybe that's just what needs to happen. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, the levels of human suffering that will occur, if that is the way we go, are so unimaginable. We must do everything, everything we can for the rest of our lives to stand on the ground of absolute conviction and willingness to do everything we can to avoid that route. Now, what is the other route? The other route is that something happens. There is a shift, and for whatever reason, in whatever way, the human race begins to live according to an underlying organizing principle of love, brotherhood, justice, and humanitarian ideals. We will get there through joy, or we will get there through suffering. Getting there through suffering, that would be the externalized Armageddon, global catastrophe, whether nuclear or any other. What is the other route? The other route, from a metaphysical perspective, is still an Armageddon. However, what it means is, your Armageddon, in which you face your issues and become the woman you're capable of being, makes you wiser. And your Armageddon, in which you are forced to face all the things that keep you from being the woman that you are capable of being, <laughs> makes you wiser. And that becomes multiplied every single time in every single life in which, even though when we were younger we might have thought we could avoid the Jungian descent into darkness. <laughs> That's not going to be me. I don't have an ever have to do that. And then you get somewhere around 45, 50 or older and you go, it happened to me. I hit my wall. I didn't think I was going to have a wall. I hit my wall and you hit your wall. And on the other side of that, we know things we did not know before. And we were actually transformed. And in that transformation, interestingly enough, and ironically in a way, enough inoculated. Inoculated. And then we become people who can hold the space of human suffering in a whole new way. Why? Because we have suffered. And having suffered gives you x-ray vision into the suffering of other people. So Armageddon happens. The only choice is, will it be an, arm, an externalized Armageddon in which unconscious people are able to take us into nuclear or any other kind of global cat catastrophe, or do enough of us recognize that the Armageddon of personal human transformation takes us to a place on the other side of our own deep pain into a wiser zone where we have taken a quantum leap within ourselves, you've learned enough from your arm again, you've loved and learned enough from your arm again, you've learned and learned enough from your arm again, that we no longer have the need to manifest a collective arm again. We did it within ourselves.